Hi there, welcome to the Motley Crew, the channel that showcases games from the Motley Crew fleet. And this is a game that was recorded at the weekend called DD Double Strike. And it features yours truly in the Tier 6 German Destroyer, the Z31. So as you can see, we're on Repost, or as our colonial cousins would say, Repost. Uh, and we've got the bee spawn. We've spawned to the north east of the Bravo Cap. And looking across, we've got the Bovoy, Asasio and Jervis as Red Team Destroyers. So we will certainly be keeping an eye out for them. And to try and practice what I preach on some of these vids when we're talking about destroyers, I'm going to push straight into the B Cap. Uh, it's four destroyers on each team uh, and as you'll notice um, problems I've been having for the last few days I get a bit of lag spike in the game which is very frustrating doesn't particularly help the flow of the game but um, I apologise you'll just have to bear with it so we push in and our threat indicator is showing that the nearest red team ship is straight off our bow, just to the other side of the Bravo cap. So we're about to start capping on Bravo very shortly. Yeah, there's a Mackinson out there. We turn to starboard. Oh, and there's a Charles Hughes on the Alpha cap. Red team are capping Alpha. Blue team are doing Bravo and Charlie. And there's a Jervis. So there's two destroyers over on the Alpha cap. Looks like a big red push over there, which often happens on this map, to be honest. Yeah, shots out as I smoke up. I am momentarily spotted. Uh, perspective torps out towards the Jervis. I just just did receive shots from the other side, of the Bravo Cap. I'm not 100% sure which ship those came from. Could have been that Mackerson. Oh, but well, there's a, a red team Bovoy there. She's pushing in. Torps out on her. And, okay, there's two red red team destroyers on this, or coming into this cup as well. There's an Asashio. Meanwhile, red team Jervis gets out Benham. Shots out on Asashio. But our Duca gets the Jervis back. So that's one ship down on each team, both destroyers. Asashio pushes round the headland there. He does knock out my engine. Boy, boy. Oh, she just misses, but she's picked up torps. I think it's from the Vesteras, who she takes out. But <laughs> I get a lucky shot on her, so that's first kill. My first kill on the Bow Boy. So that's two destroyers down on each team at the moment. I start pushing forward. I know that Asasho because the threat de detector is also indicating it. There she is. She's coming out. She hasn't fired. Well, there she goes. She did fire then. I suspect the long gaps mean that she's um, she's launching torp, so I turn out. Meanwhile, our Duca takes out the Charles Hughes over on the Alpha Cap. More shots on the Asasho. Get a fire on her. That fire's going to burn. But at the moment, I'm more concerned in trying to avoid these torps. Straight line out. And as you can see from the hip, the damage indicator, that fire is still burning. More torps on the Asashio. Bang. 
She's burnt out. That's my kill number two. Uh, meanwhile, the red team Nagato has taken out the Gnais now. The blue team Gnais now. now. I'm going to sit here and try and cap before redeploying. As you can see, we've already got the Charlie cap. Okay. Red team are one ship down or one ship more than us down. They've got four destroyers. All their destroyers have gone. We've got two destroyers and a battleship down. Okay, so that's a Bravo cap taken. Oh, nice one, Duca. She gets a Confederate. And she picks up a high caliber. She's obviously working hard over on Alpha. I have put Torps out on that Nuremberg, but I think she's turning out. So it's unlikely they're going to hit. Shots out on her before I go behind the island. Yeah, you can hear that noise in the background. That's my dogs play fighting. They're obviously not impressed with the gameplay. Torps out, I suspect, from the Nuremberg. Meanwhile, the red team Nuremberg takes out our Duca. Uh, both teams are four ships down now. More shots out on Nuremberg. But bang, our Cali gets the Nuremberg. So it's four ships down on the blue team versus five on the red team. And all the red team ships are now over on Alpha Cap. All four of them. All four are battleships. As you see, I've smoked up, so I'm going to start wailing on these, getting more damage. And it looks like one of the red team, I think that's an Agato, is starting to push around that Long Island. The Tennessee and the Wall Spike did touch, tip, touch tips earlier. And there's the Mackerson. Yeah, I'm still using the smoke screen. There's a war spite. She's now pushing round. Yeah, unfortunately I ran just outside the smoke screen when I fired there. So I was spotted. And our Cali takes out the Mackinson. The red team are now six ships down. And we're now going to push in. Try and contest this cap. I am spotted, but now drop spot. Okay, that Nagato is steaming round, so I put speculative torps out on her, and then push into the cap. Okay, Tennessee is taking fire now from our remaining ships. And as our other DD has put torps out on her as well. I am spotted. Shots out on the Tennessee. She does take torps and bang my... <laughs> that was lucky. That's a Shannon Steel kill there. Or kill steel. And bang. That's a double strike because those torps did take out Nagato with a dev strike to boot. So it's just the war spite left. Yeah, lag spike again. It is a pain in the proverbial. And she's now virtually surrounded by ships. As you can see, I'm on four kills, and I'll be honest, as usual, I think with most of us, when, we, when, they, when we've got four kills, we think, ooh, 
I wonder if I can get a Kraken. But more importantly, we get the, the cap taken. Yeah. So we have managed to take two caps on our own. Warspite does avoid those torps. Shots out on her. And another salvo. Oh, but bang, our Tennessee takes her out. Yeah, that was a good game. I certainly enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Um, we will be back with more very, very soon.